Hello, I'm Peter Bin from Hashtag Daily K. Please enjoy Easy as Canada with Minji, which airs in hour number two every Friday. Spice up your Fridays with the most exciting way to learn Korean. Explore the Korean language through the magic of movies, dramas, and music on Easy as Canada with Minji. Just before the weekend, we learn some Korean. So maybe you can go and binge watch a drama, watch a movie, and understand way more than you could have done beforehand with Minji in the studio. Good morning, Minji. Good morning. How are you doing this August 4th Friday, the first Friday of the eighth month of 2023? <laughs> It feels really good. Because I just moved to my new office. Oh, nice. Have you finished moving? Because I remember a couple of weeks ago as well, you were doing that process. Mm -hmm. So my moving day was um, uh, August 2nd. Okay. Yeah. Officially, so. you are out of the Sangam area <laughs> yeah. and over to a new, new home. What do you hope to achieve there, Minji? What's the aim? Mm. What's the dream? Yeah, my dream is obviously hire another employee <laughs> uh -huh. to help, oh. you know, build my um, uh, course. Okay. Uh, and also make very good material, learning materials for the Korean students. All the while studying more as well mm -hmm. at the same time. Yep. You're a multitasker, yep. Minji. That's <laughs> too much for my plate. I don't <laughs> think I'll be able to do that. Do you think you'll be a good boss to someone, Minji? Well, I'm still on the fence about it because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's kind of hard to uh -huh. you know, give a command. Yeah. But you also have to be specifically, mm. you know, directly talk about it, right? Sure. Right. So I think yeah. that would be very difficult. You know, that's why I d I'm so glad I don't have any employees. I don't think I'd make a good boss, to mm. be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to hearing your reports of once you've hired someone, Minji. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. Uh, so today, let's get into the three lines that we're going to learn and then do some acting a little later on. Mm -hmm. So the first line is 농구라면 치가 떨리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고. 농구라면 치가 떨리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고. Yes, you're telling me to play basketball with someone who's fed up with it. You're telling me to play basketball with someone who's fed up with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, there might be some words in there that our listeners are confused with. We'll get to all the details later on. Uh, sentence number two. 순전히 돈 벌라고 하는 겁니다. 순전히 돈 벌라고 하는 겁니다. Yes, I only do it to earn money. I only do it to earn money. That seems a little cold, doesn't it? And then the third and final sentence. 그런 유치한 말에 내가 넘어갈 것 같습니까? 그런 유치한 말에 내가 넘어갈 것 같습니까? Yes. Do you think I'll be fooled by such childish words? Oh, will I be fooled? Do you think I'll be fooled by such childish words? Sounds like a lot of friction in today's situation. Mm -hmm. Any tips for pronunciation before we get to our acting? Well, as for the question four, mm. uh, it'd be great if you raise the intonation at the end. Okay. So, like, There's two questions here, mm -hmm. aren't there? But like in a very um, suspicious uh, intonation, like okay. 농구를 하자고. 농구를 하자고. Yes. Okay. 뭐뭐 넘어갈 것 같습니까? Is that the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. 같습니까? Yeah, 같습니까? Oh, there's a few different ending forms here. The first one seems a little bit, I don't know, less formal. 농구를 하자고. Mm -hmm. There's no yo or anything at the end, so yeah, it can it's be a bit like, disrespectful. Uh, yeah, kind of. And also you're asking to yourself. Ah, 농구를 하자고? Mm -hmm. 하자고? 하자고. Oh, I'm going to have to get to the scene to really understand this. Anything else as well? And as for the 치가 떨리다, mm -hmm. it's like an expression that you are kind of sick and tired of something. Okay. So it'd be great if you kind of convey that emotion. 
치가 떨리는 Yeah, like 치가 떨리는 사람한테 치가 떨리는 Like you don't want to even see something maybe because you're fed up of it mm-hmm. Oh, yes. that's a really interesting expression 치가 떨리는 Put some emotion into that, guys Okay, and then another tip as well uh, in the second line, there is 돈 벌라고. 벌라고. Yeah, but the correct way is actually 벌려고. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that sounds really awkward. 돈 벌라고. Mm-hmm. But it should be 벌려고. Yes, like in order to show your intention. Mm. So, yeah, either way is possible. Okay, so in the line today in the drama, maybe not the standard form. So if you want, we'll let you off with this. You can do 벌려고. Mm-hmm. 벌려고. 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 Yeah. Okay, take that into account. Send us your voice clips and we will play those in parts two and three while we're going through today's drama slash movie. Uh, let's set up the scene for the acting. Okay, so today's scene is related to one basketball team coach Mm -hmm. persuading the other guy to join in his team. Okay, so a coach trying to get a player, a -hmm. student, I guess. Yes, yes. Into his team. Yes, uh, there is a coach named Yang Hyun. Mm-hmm. He's hired hired as a coach for the basketball team of okay. Busan Jungang High School. Is that a real high school? Yes, actually, this um, movie. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm revealing its movie. Okay. Yeah, it's based on the true story. Wow. About Busan Jungang High School. About not pro basketball, but school basketball. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, they they were formerly really great in their performance, but uh-huh. now they are about to disband. Uh oh. So yeah, because you know the players are not sufficient. Uh. So Yang Yun is really struggling to you know finding new players, uh-huh. and he uh, finds some betting on the basketball game on the street. Okay. So yeah, there is a uh, Kyu Hyuk. Uh-huh. Who is playing with the betting on the basketball game? Oh, they're trying to make some money just on the side. Yes, some yes, of those yes, people. yes. And so, then he tries to bring him into the team. Mm-hmm. So you're going to play Ku Hyuk. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play Yang Hyun. Yes, the, the coach. coach. Yes. All right, trying to persuade you. All right, let's take it away. Can you make a lot of money from betting on basketball? Who are you, sir? Ooh, who do I look like? What do I look like to you? Mm, just some military service guy. Hey, I'm the coach of Jungang High School basketball team. Why don't you join me and play basketball? Basketball? 농구라면 치가 떨리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고? Fed up with it? I bet you're not. I saw you were crazy about basketball. It's betting on basketball. 순전히 돈 벌라고 하는 겁니다. Listen, I don't know what happened, but can't we live our lives doing what we like? What we like and who we like together, all together. Life is not a big deal. <웃음> 그런 유치한 말에 내가 넘어갈 것 같습니까? character sounds very 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 cynical <laughs> right right okay. and Yang Hyun having a struggle to get him to join the team mm-hmm. I think it is because Kyu Hyuk uh, had to give up his dream due to an ankle injury ah so he did want to play basketball yeah in the past but he got an ankle injury but the coach is still trying to persuade him mm-hmm. ah, yes, yes. thinking that that ankle injury is not like career ending perhaps mm, yeah yeah that's Ooh. right. All right. So if you've seen this movie, give it a guess. Uh, I don't know. It seems like at the same time or around the same time, there's been a few basketball works come out. We talked about the Japanese animated version, mm-hmm. Slam Dunk. Mm-hmm. That's not this, right? We're not doing a Japanese <laughs> right, uh, right. content it's for today. It's actual basketball movie basketball related movie like not animated or anything like that yeah 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 okay any other hints about the story or anything well the director of this movie mm. is Chang Hang Jun okay who is also very famous and has been appeared on many variety shows this day oh yeah it's his recent work okay and he's a film director mm-hmm. 
Okay. And also the Kyuhyuk, the original actor is Jung Jin-un. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's also he's actually form, former, not former, but um, member of 2AM. Oh. The group. Okay, those should be big enough hints for you guys to guess today's movie in question. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipu City, 101.9 in the Daejeong area. We're back for part two of Easy as Canada, looking at a movie today, a basketball movie. I'm trying to think if I've watched any basketball movies. Oh, Slam, was it called Slam Dunk? Not Slam Dunk, no, that's the Japanese animation. Oh, it's got Bugs Bunny in it. Do you know the one I'm talking about? It's got like animated characters mm-hmm. and Michael Jordan, like the legendary basketball player was in the first one. Mm-hmm. And I can't for the life of me remember, and you're too young, I'm guessing, to remember as well. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm trying to relate to it. It. <laughs> it was like the Looney Tunes. So yeah, Looney there was like Tunes. Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, all those characters and the Space Jam. That's what it was called. It was aliens Mm -hmm. animated against human basketball players. It's a bit weird. Mm -hmm. And there was a newer version recently with LeBron James. um, And my kids watched that and actually quite liked it. Okay, so I have seen a basketball film. Mm -hmm. Back to that song we just heard. Apparently, Jong Mm Jin-un of 2AM, you say, right? Yes. And also an actor in this movie Mm -hmm. made that track after thinking of all the memories created with the actors from that film. That's quite lovely. Lovely, isn't it? Right, right. Wave. Uh, yeah. And he's kind of the character who suffers an ankle injury. Oh, that's Gyuhyuk. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. And also now makes a living, even makes a living through the betting games. Just betting on basketball. Yes. Like putting money on it and, and yes. doing it. Oh so, dear. Yeah. Gone down the wrong road there, it seems. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a few guesses, not many today. Uh, Benny from the Philippines says, is it rebound or rebound in English? And I think that is the only one. And then Ite Garb says, is this related to Sa Jang Hun? Mm. I don't think this story is based on his his career or anything. Yeah, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Because looking at the the script here, it says this was based on a story from 2012, Mm -hmm. like the real life story. Mm -hmm. So So Jong-hun, I think he was long retired by 2012, right? But at the ending scene, mm-hmm. there is a, either a semi-final or a final. Uh, Busan Junga High School compete with the most famous high school basketball team Ooh. from the Yongsan High School. Because uh-huh. it's based on real story. Yeah. And from that high school, you know, Ho Hun, who is a really He's famous... He's a legend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As far as I know, yeah. yeah Ho Hun is there, ah, like the character in oh, the movie. Wow, really? Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? So if you're a big fan of basketball, and mm-hmm. to be honest, like high school basketball, it's not like in the US where regular people will know a lot about high school basketball. Only if you're really into the sport. Right. Or you know about the schools and yes. stuff like that, right? Right. That's, that's really interesting. So yeah, this takes a look at actual events that took place in that national basketball championship mm-hmm. held in 2012 wow was this a popular movie did it come out fairly recently yeah i think so it is really released uh on april 5th okay and yeah it's i think it's quite unique because it features uh, basketball mm. so yeah i think it's a popular movie Yeah, we've had a few baseball movies uh, Mm. over the years. Baseball, I would say, I think I can say this quite safely, is a bit more popular in terms of spectators going to the stadium and the famous, like, stadium food and things like this. Mm, Right, But for basketball is still relatively popular, quite up there, Mm -hmm. I think. Have you ever been to see a game, Minji? No, I've also seen uh, baseball. Okay. Yeah, but I've never seen basketball. Yeah, I went to one basketball game early in my time here just to see what it was like. And I must Mm -hmm. say, it was really entertaining. Like, they had loads of, like, little events all Mm. throughout the game. And it's a much smaller stadium than Mm. a baseball one because the court is very small. So you feel like you're really close to the players as well. It was, yeah, really, really good fun. And then I recently met 
uh, basketball player, Chon Te Pung, I think Ooh. is his name. Ooh, Quite yeah. famous, right? Yes, he's yeah. also very famous. I think yeah. he's half Korean, half black American, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. And he is a lovely, funny guy. And he's trying to like teach his kids basketball. And they look amazing oh. as well. So who knows? Maybe some more right. professionals from that family yeah. line. So, okay, this seems like one of those typical sports movies where the star player has some troubles, you know, gambling, injury, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing it's going to end in a fairy tale ending. But we won't give any spoilers. Right. Okay. But the ending, I think it's quite unique. Oh, Okay. <laughs> you have to watch it. Like. That makes me want to watch it even more. Uh, rebound being the title mm-hmm. there. That's yeah. when the ball like comes off the backboard or the ring, and then maybe you'll score a, a couple of hoops after that. Uh, okay, we've got lots of voice clips that have come in. We're going to play these and go through the sentences together. Uh, let's start off with some from Benny in the Philippines. Here we go. Don Gulamion. 제가 떠리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고. Oh, nice effort. Good stuff, Benny. There's a difficult expression that I've never used in my life, I must admit. So <laughs> I'm going to learn today. Right, right. In that expression, I think the first syllable was pronounced like a little bit chi. Mm-hmm. But it has to be chi. Chi. Yeah, chi. Chi. Yeah. Chi. Not chi, but chi. Chi. Yeah. Chi. Just like a, if you had to romanize it, C H E E. Right, right. Yeah, Chi. Chi ga Yeah. What does this mean then? Well, it comes from the expression Chi ga dolida. Okay. Which literally means your teeth um, sh- shatters or shivering. Ah, like kind of like this. Like, <laughs> how would you shudder? I, I guess you are shuddering or you're shaking and your teeth are like tapping together like that. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you're gnashing your teeth together. Yeah, gnashing. Ah, okay. Because something makes you very furious. Oh, that's the figurative definition of this. Mm-hmm. You're I, furious I mean, at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another usage. Uh-huh. But in this context, when you are just sick and tired of something, you can also say, 치가 떨리다. Yeah. When you're just sick and tired of something. Mm-hmm. I wonder, do you do that? Like when you're sick and tired of something, do you gnash your teeth? Oh, I'm sick and tired of something. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. Like when you're furious, for sure. Yeah. In like the West, that's, that makes mm-hmm. sense. You're gnashing your teeth because you're so angry. But when you're fed up of something, I guess when you're fed up to the point of being angry, mm. maybe like you're like, I don't want to even see basketball anymore. Yeah, you don't want to even think about it. Oh. What could be another example for this then? In this case, you know, it's talking about basketball. I'm sick and tired mm-hmm. of that. Well, maybe if you think of your ex <laughs> <laughs> and you, when you have like terrible memories... How could you do it in a sentence like this then? I'm sick and tired if I even think of my ex or something. Mm, 생각만 해도 mm. 치가 떨려. Ah, 생각만 해도. Yeah. So even if I just think about it, 치가 떨려. Yeah, 치가 떨려. Oh, I gnash my teeth. Okay. <laughs> and and like you said, it doesn't have to be literal. It's just like you're saying, I'm just fed up. Mm-hmm. Just so fed up at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's get to some more voice clips here. We got Siska from Indonesia saying messy pronunciation. That's okay, Siska. Here we go. Well, great effort. Mm. Yeah. Said very quickly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And I love you split the sentence in a perfect way. Okay, so where's the split supposed to come? Uh, after the 사람한테, okay. a little bit, 치가 떨리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고. 한테 농구를 하자고? Yeah. Okay. But, but I heard your pronunciation of 농구 was a bit like 농구 ah. with the niun consonant. But it should be 농. Yeah, 농구. 농구 with yeah. the iun consonant, right? Yes, 농구. 농구 라면. So people might have saw that and thought we're talking about ramen today, <laughs> the instant noodle, but it's yeah. not that, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is used when you suppose a situation. Aha, uh-huh. something, something ramen. Mm-hmm. You're supposing mm-hmm. it's the case. In this case, then, nongu meaning basketball, right? Yes. So if it's basketball, mm-hmm. you're supposing a situation, nongu ramen. Mm-hmm. Then, chiga dolinen, so you're sick and tired. Mm-hmm. And then after that, 사람한테. 
Yeah, it, as Hara means person, but in this context, it refers to the speaker, ah. like yourself. Ah, so he's referring to himself. Mm-hmm. So if you're talking about basketball to a person or to me who's R- sick and tired of it, right, right. Dot dot dot. We'll get to the dot 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 after Yana from Malaysia. Here we go. 농구라면 치가 털리는 사람한테 농구를 하자고. <laughs> you sound very innocent there, yeah. <laughs> not so cross like Kyuhyuk and betting on basketball. All right, 농구를 하자고. <laughs> Decent pronunciation? Yeah, it's perfect, actually. Well done. Yana was in Korea just last weekend, or two weekends ago, in fact. Oh. So she was practicing, I think, then. <laughs> uh, so the last part, 농구 comes out again. 농구를 mm-hmm. 하자고. Yeah, 하자고. Uh, this 자고 is used when you want to ask uh, again about a fact. That you just heard, ah. and you know when you want to confirm it, you ah. use this ending. Hajago. Yeah, hajago. Okay. So nongur hada here would just mean to do basketball, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And in this case, hajago. So you're saying to a person who's sick and tired of basketball to play basketball. Right, right, ah, right. That's, that's the literal meaning. Yeah. Nongu, our producer, who is very hardworking, has given us the hanja or Chinese character meanings behind this. Nong meaning a big basket mm. and gu representing the kong. Ah, like with chukgu. Right, yagu. Yeah. Ah, yagu. Interesting. Mm. Wow, a big basket ball. Mm. Well, I guess that's the English as well. Basket ball. Ball, yeah. It's the literal translation, isn't it? <laughs> I'm in London. I'm in Australia. Tokyo. The Philippines. Finland. Indonesia. New York. Arirang Radio. Radio. Now live in Seoul. Uh, let's get on to some more voice clip sentences two and three we've got to get to. Uh, sentence two, we need to race through this one. Unita in Indonesia. Here we go. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like you're a dictionary there, Yunita. Yeah, there's nothing I, I, I want to correct about it. I want to ask a question. What is sunjonhi? <laughs> sunjonhi means like purely and absolutely. Purely and absolutely. Do we use that? Is that a fairly common word to use? I think it has a, a like accompanied phrases. Mm. Like um, sunjonhi ne jalmusia, for example. So it's completely my fault? Yes. Okay. Or 순전히 우연이야, like something is a coincidence. Complete coincidence. Yeah, You're complete kind of emphasizing that with 순전히. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, so 순전히, 순전히. 순전히, Completely, yeah. genuinely, purely. Faz, we got your clip as well. Here we go. 순전히 돈 벌라고 하는 겁니다. I don't trust Faz at all <laughs> in that sentence. Yeah, I love the intonation. Pon... <laughs> 돈 벌라고 or 돈 벌려고, mm-hmm. as you said, it could be. Yeah, something 려고 uh, is a connective ending mm-hmm. showing some someone has an intention. To or, do something. Yes, or desire uh-huh. of doing certain act. So, yeah, 돈 벌려고 means like in order to earn money. Okay. That's the meaning. Uh, 하는 겁니다. Yeah, so 하는 is like doing, mm-hmm. and 겁니다 is a formal ending. Okay. Uh, if I have to break it literally down, then it's a thing, 거십니다. 거십니다. So it's a thing I'm doing. So yeah, it's just a formal ending. Okay, so I'm just doing this mm-hmm. completely, 100%. To earn, earn money. money, yes. Trying to emphasize that he doesn't like basketball, right? Mm. Like he's fed up and sick and tired of it now. Yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, same liter as missed out sentence two, I believe. <laughs> oh, the ending sound perfect. Oh, really? Yeah. Same liter, your Korean, nearly fantastically fluent there. Uh, the rest okay. Yeah, but um, it'd be great if you're going to convey your emotion. Mm. Like, 내가 넘어갈 것 같습니까? 내가 넘어갈 것 같습니까? You're almost disbelieving, right? Yes, yes. That kind of accent or in- intonation. Why don't we look at that part first, then? 넘어갈 것 같습니까? Okay, so you have to know the verb 넘어가다. 넘어가다, okay. Yes. In this context, it means to be fooled. 
To be fooled. To be、um, deceived. To be tricked, deceived, fooled. Nomogada. Yeah. Like it can literally mean to like go over to somewhere,、mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Nomogakeo. I, I feel that that means figuratively, like maybe if you're, I don't know, north of the river and I'm south of the river.、Mm-hmm. Nomogakeo.、Mm. I'll like go across the river to you. Yes. That's so in, the literal meaning, yeah. So when I imagine this figurative definition,、mm-hmm. I'm imagining you've gone over to the tricked side.、Mm. That's what I kind of think. You've、yeah. been fooled over to that side. Maybe, yeah, it comes from that meaning. And then, kot k a s u m n i k a It means like,、um, like, how to say? You think. Think? think? Yeah. You think, nomaga kot k a s u m n i k a Does it seem like. I'm gonna be fooled、mm-hmm. or deceived.、Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's a formal ending as well, right? Sumnika.、Mm-hmm. Sumnika. Yeah, is a formal way of asking something. I guess because he's the coach after all that he's talking to. Right,、so、right. Otherwise, maybe Nomogako Katayo. Katayo, yeah. Katayo. <laughs> <laughs> If you're being informal, I suppose, with friends or something. Do you think I'm going to be tricked?、Uh, let's get to Leon from Singapore as well. Here we go. Apologies for the bad recording quality because Leon is on the bus, apparently. <laughs>、wow. um, but thank you for doing that nonetheless. Yeah, thank you.、Um, I just noticed just one thing.、Mm-hmm. No more gada sounded a bit like no mugal. No mugal. Yeah. <laughs> no more. No yeah. more ka. Yeah, all vowel is one of the most tricky vowels to many of Korean learners.、Mm-hmm. But、okay. yeah, it's all. Oh. No more, no more kata.、Mm-hmm. Let's look at another part of the sentence then. Right.、Uh, there is also a great word which is yuchihata. Yuchihata. Yeah, it means childish or sometimes immature. Okay. Yuchihan mal in this sentence,、mm-hmm. right? So childish words. Childish words. I mean, it didn't sound childish. Like the coach was trying to be inspirational, right? We should do what we love. With、right. other people who love it all together being like the inspirational <laughs> coach. And then Q, his character, yeah, very kind of cynical, it seems.、Right. Saying, Yu Chan Mo, like mm. childish,、yeah. immature talk.、Mm. Mm. Refers his words as immature, Yu Chan. Yeah, we use that word a lot. Well, maybe I hear it a lot because I'm childish, but yeah, <laughs> people often say, Yu Chan Mo, that's so childish, right? Right, right.、Okay. I, I think it. Can be also in a positive way,、mm. used in a positive way, like, oh, you're chie,、oh, okay. not in a serious, not immature way. Not too critical or anything. Right, right. right. Okay.、Uh, let's get to Rao's version from Argentina. Here we go. Good on, you chan mare, nega, no maga goz gatunica. Good effort, Rao. Yes, good effort.、Mm-hmm. Uh, about the ending, it has to be. Kasumnika. Kasumnika. Yes. Yeah, I think there was no sum in that sound、mm. that I heard, but not bad at all, Rao. So the rest of this sentence then, before you chan mo, kudon. Such. Kudon is like such.、Mm, such childish, childish words. words. Yes. Mal e nega. Mm-hmm. So, e means like to、mm-hmm. or toward, and de ga is like、uh, myself. Myself.、Yeah. Okay. So, at such childish words,、mm-hmm. you think that I'm going to be tricked or deceived?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the meaning. Okay. And nomogata sometimes is used to go just smoothly. Smoothly. Yeah.、Ah. You know, without causing any problem. So, okay. Yeah, that kind of two meanings are implied in this. Nomoga,、ah, nomogata.、Yeah. So you think I'm just gonna like go over to that side or, or be convinced easily?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes people, when they complain about something, another friend might say, Oh, can you n o m o g a Oh, right, right. Just, like,、nomoga. let it slide. Right, right. That right. kind of thing. Oh, good meaning as well, Minji. I hope that you are not doing this corner, Sunjani t o m p o l y o k o Of course, it's my pleasure. Thank you. I do feel that as well, Minji.、Uh, <laughs> we are going to see you again next Friday. Have a wonderful week. Okay, thank you. That was Easy as Canada with me, Peter Bint, and Minji, which airs in hour number two on Fridays on hashtag DailyCane.